Okay, now we're off to Austria. All that being said, for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy Nadine Zhang. I'm a former financial journalist turned media and communication scholar, currently doing my PhD here in Vancouver, Canada. My channel covers everything from career change, tech and society, and my research journey, but most importantly, all the life lessons I learned along the way. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and welcome to my vlog. Ready. So I just arrived in Frankfurt and it's such an interesting experience because it's been more than 10 years since I was in Germany. Um, although this is a very short uh, stopover, it's really nice to uh, yeah, have my foot on German land. I was just looking at the connecting flights and then this lady started talking to me in German and surprisingly enough, I was able to have a conversation with her so my German is not at all uh, rusty yet. <laughs> and then it was like, for Austria. Mm. It's also fun. Like this is something she did, she basically like was like... Tuesday, um, 8 16 a.m. in Vancouver, and currently 5 yeah, 5 16 p.m. here in Austria. And um, thanks to my friend who has been nothing but uh, angel, I have slept very well, even though my entire body is sore from the long flight. I'm currently looking at um the schedule of our conference so it starts um, officially tomorrow um, and then i'll be participating in graz making and doing data walk and then um, the next day it's a full day so starting from 9 a.m these are the um, sessions that i will go to and then it ends with a beautiful dinner and then um, in in graz bauerberg Graz Bauerberg, is that how you say it? Um, Graz Castle. And then um, Friday, um, there will be two sessions that I will be also going to, and then reception. So I will be presenting my work here at GP10, Critical Data Literacies, um, and I am very excited. And currently, I am working on my slides right now titled is AI textbook good for education. It's really interesting because I started with this project since the COVID-19 pandemic 2020 when I went over to London and what I have studied there and researched came out to be the outcome of my paper which is my first very uh, my very first publication at the International Journal of Communication titled The Datafied Study Datafied School in the Neoliberal Era pandemic shifts in South Korean education policy. And um, my um, PhD thesis is basically an extension of this very paper. So all of the things that I've been doing since master's is coming together. And I'm looking at what's happening around the world, how Netherlands, um, Belgian schools, France ban smartphones in um, elementary school uses. Um, the same in India, UK, and um, in Ontario, Cursive is making a comeback. And then you're looking at US and UK, 
But at the same time, like some other countries like um, Singapore, bringing back the tech. And then I'm going to explain why South Korean case is important. Um, it's touted as the world's first AI textbook. And um, yeah, so I am developing my arguments right here. And, and soon, uh, once my friend comes back, we are going to get ready for our first official uh, commitment of the data power conference schedule which is the dinner tonight so I'm very excited and it will be I, I think I will learn a lot and um, I really um, appreciate conferences where I can forge um, really good relationships with uh, with different scholars and I really hope that this will be that opportunity Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's the that's the castle, right? Yeah, that's the ah. to go to the welcome session at 10.30 a.m. It is 9.45, so I'm gonna slowly walk over there. Um, Graz is small enough to like walk everywhere, so I'm gonna try to walk as much as possible while I'm here, so. <laughs> Going by the flutes. So this is the river that we're uh, crossing. This is called the Moor. We're gonna go straight to the city center. Oh wow, okay. Um, we have here just a fan if you need. Um, here are like some stickers um, if you're curious about, like conversations about it. Okay, great. Later today in the afternoon, I'll be presenting, so I need to work on my presentation as well.
a dinner at the Graz uh, castle, which was really nice. Um, and then there was a little after um, get together, which I did go to, but I am going back home now. I think I was the first one to leave because I got so tired. Um, yeah, but I got really good feedback and um, from my presentation and a lot of a lot of people really liked my research and my presentation so I was really glad to hear that and uh, yeah for now I think I'm gonna go home and write my journal and try to digest today and then go to bed Good morning. It is Friday, um, last day of the conference, and it is drizzling. Um, I think I'm slowly adjusted to the time difference. By the time I go back to Vancouver, it'll be hard again. But uh, yeah, um, it's been amazing to be able to connect with so many um, researchers, um, especially in my field. The kind of work that uh, I do, it, it, it's it's uh, because my field is is only like emerging and uh, just about to grow. It's been it's been really really nice to be able to connect. Um, and uh, yeah, I yeah, it's it's it really exhausting. Even though it's it's really great um, opportunity and it's really exciting, but also physically very demanding to be um, traveling like this um, but uh, yeah it, pay, it pays off you know um, when I look back at my life I don't think I have anything that uh, I would I would not be grateful for or I would not be thankful for even though there were many many hard times that I had to go through I'm very proud of how I made it so far and I want to continue to make it happen because because I determined I'm determined I made the decision to do it so and I know God has called me to to uh, follow so just to rely on God not on my own understanding and just keep on going conference came to an end. I think it's always the case when I go to a conference in Europe that the, the time difference and jet lag just really uh, tears me apart. Um, that I give my best at what I need to do and then I just have to leave and um, get rest. So right now I'm on my way back home but it's a beautiful area that I'm passing by and then um, I'm also gonna stop by a chocolate shop really quick to pick up some um, gifts for my landlord um, yeah so I can't even talk right now because I'm so tired okay ciao ciao Schauspielhaus Graz
day today. The action happens. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's so Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 Oh, that's <laughs> 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 <laughs>